Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Voxel Twig, and we're back with more Caveopolis. In between episodes, didn't really do much. I built with our diamonds, got an enchanting table, enchanted a netherite sword, and I built a Herculean Flux Storage. This one can hold, I believe, 16 million. So we got our basic and a Herculean. There's one after that, Gargantuan, but eh, that's a job for another day. I also let our new miner go ahead and gather us some resources i spent some time getting more flux dust and i expanded out this room because this is where we are going to do all of our power production for the power mod because today we are getting into reactors this is going to be a little bit of a different chapter for us just because as of right now, I don't know if we'll be able to do all of it in one go, just because this nitro crystal here requires 20 million FE to make. I don't know if we're going to be able to make that much in one go. We're going to do most of this. Once we get to about here, the rest is going to be basically just having enough power to make the crystal, to make the new reactor, make the new crystal, make the new reactor. So this is just going to be the same thing over and over again, just to make the new one. But then that will really put us at the final chapter of level five. And then we only have a couple left because after that, we're going up to top rock and all that kind of stuff. So but first things first, we got, we got to make, got to make our shopping list here. We got dielectric paste dielectric rods horizontal dielectric rods got dielectric casing we'll need energizing rods we'll need an energizing orb and then all of that is to get us a starter reactor so if you see the arrows here so these ones go down to here but then we come over this way to here to harden and what this is going to do is once we get to this point, we need to start over here. So we need to make add gears to make casing to be able to make the energized steel because we make the energized steel in the orbs and rods. So let's jump right in. First things first, we need dielectric paste, which is emeralds or diamonds, electrum and flux dust which is why I spent some time gathering flux dust. So we're gonna make one stack of that, one of that, and one of that. And this is all gonna go right into our induction smelter, just like that, and that's gonna cook up. And then while that's cooking, we just kinda of, kind of hang out and wait because that is the first step in our journey into increased power because these reactors they are not the same as mechanism reactors. As far as I know, they don't explode. They don't cause radiation. We don't have to have any kind of like waste disposal or storage setup. They just produce huge amounts of power. So we are going to set it up back there and just kind of go from there. Oh, so this gives us, oh, how much does this give us? Oh, it gives us eight. Oh boy. All right, so that's good. Let's grab some iron. Iron. And let's make some rods. We need metal bar we need bars. Let's get a whole stack. And then that, and then that, and then that. Let's make two of those. And then there. And then this is gonna come along this side. And we'll make two of these. Cool. So that's first things first. Next, we need dielectric casing. Make one. And then we need a, st oh, we need a rod. And we need tiny capacitors. And we have some quartz. So we'll grab a bunch. We'll grab a bunch of that. Some more dust. And redstone. Let's make a redstone block here. And then we need this, we want one of these guys. This will give us four and we want tiny capacitors. And we'll make one energizing rod. And then we want 
another casing. And we'll make one orb like that. So now we have all that and we can just pick up our uranite here. This comes from energizing uranium ingots. So let's come up here and get this figured out. It's been a while since I've done these. So give me a second. We put the orb in that. Uh, whoops, nope. All right, let's go. We did a little bit of crafting here. I'm trying to troubleshoot myself. And the thing we need next is we need, like we said, we need uranite. We need to energize uranium. So let's grab Let's grab nine. We can show you how this works. So the energizing rods have to be attached to a wire or piping. Now we, I'm using the basic universal cable from Mechanism because it does not attach to this. So we have one rod right here. And if we boop, put that in there, that should not do nothing. Excuse me. Oh, it might have been might have been too close. And let's put it right here. I think it was too close. Let's try that. Eh. No, no dice. Whoops. 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 Everything's falling apart. What are, we doing? what are we doing wrong? This is one uranium ingot. I got uranium raw. I am a damned fool. Okay, that's fine. That's me just being an idiot. We need the uranium ingots. Here we go. See, I, I knew I wasn't crazy. So let's put this down. And then you can see this in action. And boom. Oops. All right, one. And there it goes. Beep. We can see we can track the progress. It takes thirty thousand FE to make this. Which is a lot. But we got urinite which gives us our power manual. And to make our first reactor, we need four, which isn't terrible. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep making these and I'm gonna make, uh, let's see, what do we need for this? Cause this will tell us how many, one, two, three, four. See, so, cause the, each of the starters can do 10K per tick. And then this one is 40, 100, 400. So it's the more of these that we have, I believe the faster it'll go. So we'll probably end up with nine and then we'll upgrade them as needed. But we're just gonna get these four right now. And then we're gonna make our first reactor. So now the reactor can be used to make a lot of power. That's fantastic. And it comes with, this makes four starter reactors. Oh my goodness. Do all of these make four basic? And that's gonna be another uranium with the four starters. So with our four starters, we can make four basic. And then with four basic and energized steel. So once we get to base, we'll, we'll write to basic. And then that should be enough to power to make energized steel. I think that's the play, <laughs> but we want, we'll need, a, we'll need a fifth one. And I think it just uses uranium for fuel. So if that's the case, well, huzzah, give me this. Now let's come back over here, whip up our basic thing here, and then 
base, sorry, our starter, we, whoopsies, whoopsie doodles, we want dielectric casing, starter reactors, and then we want basic reactor, and then we need large capacitors, which is more of those, so we want two stacks of these bad boys. I think that's gonna do that because that was what we capacitor. Boop, boop. One, two. Right? Nope, we need four. Boom, boom. And then we got four basic reactors. Okay, quest reactor basic. So. Let's come up here, and we are going to put this down right here. Not enough blocks. You need 32 more. Okay, so I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll catch you guys in a hot second. All right, so we are back, and in between while I was also doing that, we cooked. I made more of these. So if you remember how slow, and watch this. Ready? Boom. Now look how fast it goes. 50 just much much faster so now we get 32 of these i need 36 okay i thought i could have sworn it said 32 whatever make four of these real quick stand by all right and there it is oh that's really cool Okay, so reactor, you know what? Let's read our manual. So, uh, generators, uh, reactor, okay. Multi-block, okay, three by four, and then a reactor will completely be building itself. Okay, so we need coal, uranite, redstone, and water. Cool it down using a coolant like water. You can also use a solid coolant like snow or ice for extra coldness. Okay. Keep the reactor buffer full of fuel for better production. Carbon materials like coal wood improve the fuel efficiency and will add heat. Redstone will speed up the production and the fuel consumption will add more heat. The reactor will stop when it is full and start when it has less than 70%. So this, the... This one can hold a million Fe, generates a thousand per tick, and has a max extract of four thousand per tick. That's pretty good. And then this one is just nonsensical. So, so this one. Okay, so extract off, extract off, extract off. So it looks like they're all extract off. Redstone ignore. Okay, so if I were to put some of this in here. Just put that right in there. So it's got uranite now. And it's warming up. Okay. And the question now becomes where do I where can I pump water into it? So we are gonna need to find a way to pump water in and keep it stocked up of urinite. So it just burned through that urinite pretty quickly. This looks like an extract. North south, this goes got north, south, east, west. Everything is set to extract. We are going to figure this out. I'm going to look into this, play around, experiment, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I figured it out. So any one of these sides here, any one of these little square guys can input and output. So back here we have the aqueous accumulator that going in and feeding it water. This side we have a flux plug pulling out power. In this side, we have a chest that's going to feed it all of this fabulous uranite that we've made. 
So if we power that on, this should go, and then this should keep it cool, theoretically. And then this should be sucking in power. Yes? Yes. There we go. Transfer. It's got a big, pretty big transfer limit. Uh, this one is charging this. Everything looks good, right? Because this is the flux plug. This sucks out. This sucks in. This is generating. This is going perfect. Um, how does one get ice? Ice. Blast chiller. Water into a blast chiller. I can make oh I can make a blast chiller, can't I? Yeah, let's make that real quick and see if that does anything. Okay, so the ice definitely does it, it lowers so this makes it so that the temp goes up by one, this lowers it by five. So the ice keeps it perfectly at a hundred, which is I think exactly what we want. And the blast chiller, I just tucked it away in the corner over here. It's just, it's just going. It's just going to go on its own right here. And then every once in a while, I'll collect that. But that is going to be it for that. While I, I waited for this to be ready, well, all of my uranite, I also made a couple emerald gears. And I got through the energized steel. Which means now we can craft our steel casing, which we just need four glass for. And with this, I think we are going to be into, I think this, 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 and this. No. This is going to allow us to mine top rope. So let's pop this bad boy here, steel casing, doink. Now we can mine top rock. Which means now we can go up top and get all the way up to here. So for now, the next step is to make the hardened reactor, which requires just a bunch of hardened capacitors, which is energized steel, and then working our way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to just knock these out. And then it's going to take a bit of time. So it's going to be just kind of like checking out the quest rewards happening. But... From there, we're just gonna we're just gonna go bing bang 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 boom, and then get all the way down to the end, and then have a nitro reactor. Because looking through here, blazing crystals is blaze powder, nitric crystal is diamond, which we have, spirited crystal is emerald, which we have, and nitro crystal is a block of blazing crystal and a nether star, and we killed the wither. So we have all of that. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in a box, because I don't need to carry it around with me. I'm going to put all of this away, and I will see you guys in a second. We're just going to complete some quests. Alright, so, we got everything we need for hardened, so let's just pop that out. Boom. Hardened reactor. Next up, we got to make blazing crystals. So, let's throw these in here. Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> Boom, one blazing crystal. And then we need, looks like we need a bunch of blazing crystals. So we'll get, we'll get our capacitors and then we'll craft that bad boy. All right, and we got that. So let's get our blazing reactor. Bing! Yay. Next up, niotic crystal, which is one diamond and 300,000 FE. Where we're gonna need to upgrade our energizing rod, so we'll do that and get this ready to go. All right, let's pop this bad boy in. Psing! That was fast. Niotic crystal, and then we gotta craft this bad boy. And in we go, niotic reactor. Bam! Now, next up, we have spirited crystal, which is just gonna be an emerald. So let's grab an emerald real quick. All right, and one emerald. 
Perfect. And we'll do that a few more times and get ourselves the spirited reactor. Okay, and we've got bing bang shabao. Perfect. And now this last one is going to be quite a few things. And I think, can we do, we can't do this yet. So what we can do is we can upgrade these to spirited. Or we may just wait. We'll just leave them at that level and then make those. Woo. All right, here we go. One, two, and that. And now that'll go in... Just kind of should be all set. Just go to yeah. See, this is stalling for power. We are officially at a power halfway through, which is you know not the best thing in the world. We've sucked out all our power, so I think. We might need to reevaluate. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. Once we have this down, I'll just probably work our way up. And the next time you see us, we will have a fancy, fancy pants reactor. So I'll see you guys in a hot second. All right, so we pushed through. Got our nitro crystals, which is nice because they make 16 of them. And to make the capacitors, we only need four. So we just got enough to make all of our capacitors. So we're going to do that bunch. Complete that quest and complete the whole chapter. Woohoohoo! All right, here we go. And we are ready to party and go. Boom. Uranite chapter completed. Now, all I gotta do is all of that eight more times, and then we can get a nitro reactor. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Next time, we are moving on to level six. Up we go. We are going to head to Top Rock and see what all of this is about. Uh, we have to get a dragon head. Made in the dragon infuser. Infused with the power of the dragon. So that's going to be chorus fruit. Let's see. How, let's take a peek. See. It can be found in the end. Drop some shulkers. Slay a dragon and claim its egg. Shift right click with an enderium ingot will allow the egg to drop. So we have to craft end portal frames, which is fine. We already got some of this stuff going, which is easy peasy. Um, so we gotta, we're gonna want to make armor, weapons. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna have to, we're actually gonna have to prepare for an Ender Dragon fight, which is fine. Uh, can I, we need, so the Dragon's Breath we just make in the infuser. That's pretty cool. We don't have to like do anything with that but that's all for right now you guys in between episodes we are going to upgrade our crappy little basic reactor that took absolutely forever we're going to upgrade our energizing rods and go from there but i will see you guys next time if you like this and care to see more don't forget to like and subscribe but as always i am voxel so i'll catch you all next time